Happening tonight, city leaders in Charlotte discussing protections for the LGBTQ community. The move coming five years after the state passed the infamous House Bill 2, which became known as the Bathroom Bill. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris is live tonight in Uptown Charlotte. Lana, give us the backstory and what we can expect tonight. Yes, we are going to be giving you that backstory in the story here, but this ordinance would basically ensure that people are not discriminated against for things like their sexual orientation or their gender or their natural hair. And while some businesses believe that this is a positive step, others believe it would be overstepping. On Monday, the city of Charlotte is taking another crack at enacting a non-discrimination ordinance. Charlotte would be among other cities across North Carolina that says that we value diversity and inclusion. Previous ordinance attempt in 2016 was voided when the state passed House Bill 2, otherwise known as the bathroom bill. The state law was seen as anti-LGBTQ because it required transgender people to use the public restroom based on the gender on their birth certificate and prevented North Carolina cities from passing their own non-discrimination ordinances. It was basically a, a giant step backwards. House Bill 2 was repealed after major backlash, and Charlotte City Councilman Malcolm Graham believes the city's new proposed ordinance on the table sends the right message. It provides um, for uh, individuals to be included for diversity and inclusion. Loopy's Cafe General Manager Larkin Duran supports it. I don't think anyone should have to pretend that they're a different way than they really are. Duran says they've always practiced diversity in hiring and objected House Bill 2 when it was enacted. We actually uh, got signs for our bathrooms that uh, you could use any bathroom that you wanted to when that all happened. But not everyone agrees with the ordinance. The ordinance, although it's I believe its original tent is, pu is pure. I think what is turned into is that then Christians feel discriminated against. Tamara Bunty, the founder of the Christian Business Chamber, says she doesn't come from a place of hate, but believes the ordinance may infringe on some business owners' religious beliefs. And, and if something is against our conscience, we shouldn't have to do something. And that goes on both sides. And now, city Councilman Malcolm Graham says the city's goal here is just to provide equal access to all. So that ordinance is up for discussion as we speak in the city council meeting, and a vote could come as soon as next week. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Lana, thank you.